I greet you with peace and I greet you with love. This is Dr. Gunami and today I want to share with you some dark knowledge. <laughs> Hmm. I titled this topic as A Witch Versus Marine Spirits. Share it, share this video. Hmm. I forgot to notify people that they come online. I always forget because sometimes I don't plan my teaching. So I'm just going, the spirit just come, then I just switch on my phone and start teaching. So it's always difficult for me to update you before I start. Good evening. Nice to see you. Good evening. I love you. A witch versus a marine spirit. Who is stronger? <laughs> Who is stronger? Some time ago, I did a teaching about a witch. I showed you some mysteries about witches. I think it's in our YouTube channel or our Instagram. It was a sh very short teaching. I cannot really remember where anymore. It's somewhere around <laughs> the cyberspace. So, a witch and a marine spirit who is stronger why are people so scared which 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 ah marine 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 so a witch and a marine spirit who is stronger greetings to you all. this is now try to read comments if you just sit down and somebody's asking you a witch and a marine spirit who is stronger? If you are first not exposed to the knowledge of witches and the knowledge of the marine kingdom, then of course you cannot even understand what to say. So the way is uh, <laughs> thank you for your praise. So the way we are going to do this so food this evening is this. Mm, to take some time but just have patience. People complain it's always too long. I'm just trying to to not make it too long, but you end up being too long. No problem. The way we are going to do it this evening is this. I will summarize what a witch is to you. Then I will also summarize because these are two separate subjects. You can't mix together. But we are going to try and work on it this evening. Then I will also summarize hmm, what a marine spirit is to you. Can I speak with you later? I can't promise that. But you can just try. You can always try. But I cannot really just promise that now. Especially now. So let's start with the witch. What is a witch? Who is a witch? But there is something I want to first make clear. The things religion teach you, the things religion taught you, I mean, to say, excuse all of them right now and throw aside. Because those ones are just lying. They don't know what they are talking about. A wish does not really necessarily mean bad evil, the way religion make you think and believe. Know that fact first. So don't think, oh, wish, from your religious way of thinking. They have fooled you, and you now you know, so just cancel their thinking. See it with a plain board. So who is a witch? What is a witch? Hmm. When we say witch, winch, we are speaking about an individual who have mastered their crafts, 
who is aware of their energy, especially those ones that are at energy, they are mostly witches. Who is aware of their energy? Who is in charge now of their own space? Who have mastered the laws of nature? Who can tap into nature and manipulate nature and bed nature to manifest what they plead? Masters of spell. They cast spells and empower the spells and make the spells come to reality. They have understand the acts of art of body experience, meaning they can always easily shape shift and detach from their body and leave their body aside. So they are kind of synchronized with the nature around them. That's like the easiest word I can use. So a witch is a perfect being. It depends what you do with your own craft. That is nothing to do with what the topic. If you like drink your picking blood with your crap that is your problem but the craft itself is not is the problem so listen so a witch is a perfect being who have mastered his or her crafts who have understood now that i'm not ordinary human being all these people you ordinary human beings you don't know i'm different from you you disrespecting me? No problem. I'll visit you later tonight. When you sleep and snore. When you sleep and just there and don't know anything. I will sneak in. Come through your walls. Come with a dark cloud. And scare you. And create image on you. And possess you. And sometimes if you are weak, your spirit is weak. They can take your spirit also away. And play or do whatever they want to do with you. So these are perfect beings. <laughs> no problem. I think it is. It. These are perfect beings. So these perfect beings now. They have mastered these crafts. They have tapped into the science. They have understand. How it work. They have known what a tree really is so if a witch is looking at a tree for example she's not just seeing that tree that you are looking now she's seeing the aura of the tree itself you can train yourself to become a witch through self-exploration and self-knowledge that can make you master your craft and make you become exposed to a witch but we have three different type of witches. Oh, now I want to go into that topic. No problem. We have three different type of witches. We have the independent witch. And we have the group witch. Which as those witches, you must be in a coven before you can activate your power. Which means you should need to tap an energy with another one like her before they can do something together those ones are not so strong but it's still good so then we have the third type of witch which i don't want to talk about based on respect for some energies but all i'm trying to say now is this the concepts of which itself is not a bad thing the bad thing inside is the darkness in your hearts. That's why I love Bini language. You know what Bini did? Which in Bini means Azen. Azen is not a problem. The problem is, Bini also have a word for it. Orionogbiki. Those ones, if you want to translate it directly into English, it will be dark souls. That one you should be scared of. Because those dark souls, only evil give them pleasure. Meaning if you buy a car today, you are happy. It makes their spirit angry. It's not their fault. That's their nature. That's how they are. 
a wait, what you call good is bad to them. They are, that's why you have to avoid the wrong and, and make sure you don't have nothing to do with those type of people. Because your progress now their problem. Those are dark souls. So those are the ones you should pay attention to. Don't you hear the word witch and freak out? No. A witch itself is a good thing. A witch can help you. Because why? If you have a good friend who is a witch, she can visit your house and she will see a spell that a witch casts. Because when a witch finish cooking a spell in the coven, they have a messenger that have to deliver it to your house. If you're, that's why you have to always clean the energy of your house steady. Steady every weekend at least. Make sure the energy is always updated. Because if you don't know all these things, mm, well, no problem. So, but when you have a friend who is a witch and she visits your house, the moment she crosses your door, she can feel the energy. And she will call you and say, no, something is not right here. Look at something here. Because you will just see it, it will just be coming out like a, like a food you are cooking in the, <laughs> like a food you are cooking, you will just be seeing the smoke, dark smoke. You will know witches have visited this family, they are playing with this family. But that is another different thing, I don't want to go too much deep into that area. So, now that you have at least a little understanding of what witch is, let's just leave it there. Let's turn the page now. What is a marine spirit? I've done a teaching on this already. But let me just touch some point inside. A marine spirit is that cosmic being and that cosmic energy that is controlling this universe and that rests inside the ocean. Which means this whole ocean this whole planet, plus the tree and everything you see in existence, as long as they need water to exist, that is a marine spirit. So that marine spirit now, now have different, different beings inside the marine world. And the marine world is not just limited to water alone, like the way a lot of people are thinking. It's deeper. It's deeper, but no problem, let's keep it in the surface. So, all the beings in this marine world, which is the old 70% of X, is covered by water. Don't forget. Same way 70% of your body is covered by water. So, all this energy right now floating in the surface of this ice and receiving direct energy from the universe that's right there that is the spirit but inside that marine world there are different kingdoms just like you you are on earth you see different nation and uh -huh, that's exactly how it also is in the in the marine world there are different kingdoms and each of the kingdoms have different ways they, 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 they exist. But when you don't understand this, you will not know what we're talking about whenever we want to talk about this type of topic. But really paying close attention to this energy is very important. So that's why you have to listen very good now. All these different kingdoms have different representatives, different way they function, different things they apply to, different things that work with them, and different things. But let's just group all of them together and just call them marine spirits. Even if they are kind of different, very different, but let's just group it together and call it marine spirit. So this marine spirit now, because our energy itself is what keeps the old earth balance is what keeps the moon still there is what keeps everything in existence to continue existing because of that reality right there so a marine spirit 
have a very far different vibration from a witch. The limitation a witch have, marine spirit don't have limitation. So when we talk about marine spirits, push aside a witch and see it as the old. The old conscious self of this earth is marine. The old earth is like a living being. And you now, look at me now, you are just a living organism inside this old earth. So, when you hear the word, a witch versus marine spirit, normally you are supposed to first laugh. <laughs> Because this is not what you can even put in a in a pair. I just need a topic. Doesn't mean that you can ever ever put them in the same scale. So, a, like a witch, for example, a witch needs to study her crafts, explore her crafts, try different spells, buy shadow books, try to cook spell because you have to understand the science of which are like a, 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 a chemist a scientist that's what a witch is when the witch tries spell today she will wait like 90 days later to see how that spell will react again then if that spell is not cooked enough and balanced enough then she will cook it again she continued doing that exercise until she had the perfect spell, which sometimes take them a long time. But there are two, there are different type of witch anyway. There's no problem. Let's keep the surface. So that witch now, when she comes into a space like this, she has to seek for permission from this wood before she can enter and tap into this wood. She has to seek permission if a wish, if you have a problem with a wish, for example. She has to seek a permission from the things protecting you before they can attack you. And in most cases, <laughs> in most cases, without that permission, they don't exist. That's why you have to be very careful. Because how do they get their permission? Spiritually, there is a law and order that governs everything. When you break that order, and you don't know because, mm -hmm. yeah, you don't really understand spiritual knowledge, you don't know all those things, you just do the thing. A witch is very happy. That's why you will see witch, they are always trying to be close to you, they always try to look for words in your mouth. You will just use mistake to say one thing. Maybe, for example, uh, she don't have a child. Let's just start from there. And then, uh, uh, she will just look for your trouble. You are like, get tired. This is why you don't have a child now. Look at your life. And normally, you don't even mean bad to her. Few seconds later, you're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know how, how it came out of my mouth. I'm very sorry, madam. Please don't be angry. I'm so sorry. Now, she's happy. She's just happy. That she just laughed at her, that she don't have a child. She needed that. And now she will go to her coven. <laughs> Let me say it. Now she will go to her coven. <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> no problem. And then she will present it. And take permission from her co if she's the uh, if she's not the individual which like I said they are three types. If she's not the individual which individual which don't have a coven, but the other type they need a coven. Without coven they can't function. So, if she's the type that have a coven, she go to coven, and need permission. And then, we give her like just like you go to a station, you say you need a warrant of arrest to arrest somebody. And then they will give her the stamp to go and harass the person. So when she's traveling through that space, 
through those different realms to reach where you are. Any beans, any potter that she gets to, she has to present something that this is what she's using now to come and get what she has to get because you are break the law. What is the law? Treat her, treat yourself as you wish to be treated. And you are just laugh at her that her womb is not good. And now she have upper hand over you. So she will need those permission now. Get to your house. If you are the type, maybe you have like a, a mother who is late or a father who is late. That's why we always say connect to ancestors, connect to ancestors. There's a lot of benefit following these things. But uh, religious people will be telling your ancestors is demon so that you will be disconnected from your ancestors. So that you can become vulnerable and not have, uh, you will be vulnerable and not have anything to, to protect you. So they are lose guarding you in another world. But it doesn't end there. So when the witch now gets to your house, if your grandmother is there or your mother is there, she will stay there and say, this is my bloodline. This is my seed. You can't just come into this space. I am here to defend my family. She will laugh at your grandmother. She will laugh at that your ancestors and tell your ancestors, <laughs> you think I just travel all these journeys for, to call you for nothing? Look at what I came with. I have a permission. This is what she did. And this is what I came for. Your ancestors now, they know the rules. And sometimes, if you are not strongly connected to them, they will just give aside and beg the witch now not to kill you. That's why you will be having a lot of attacks and things like that, but you will not die, but you will just be chopping your eye. So, they will just make sure that the witch did not kill you. So, she will just be playing with you and doing whatever she wants to do with you and having all those contact with you. But some ancestors... And if you are connected to them, they will stand and say, no, I will pay the price. That's the beauty of ancestral relationship. She will say, I will pay the price for his ignorance. I will pay the price for our ignorance. So please, don't touch her. I will not permit you to cross this space to touch her. This is my favorite son. Every day he called my name. He connects with me. He gives me food. He praises me. He's proud of me. We are with him. We will not let you do nothing. When the witch will see how firm your ancestors is standing, she will have no option than to go back to her coven and go and report back to her boss. So her boss now see her boss like a governor. Who is representing them so our boss now have to come and summon your grandmother like in a chamber <laughs> let me be cutting it short so it's not too deep <laughs> have to go and summon your grandmother to come and explain herself and why she have to stop you blah blah blah, 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 blah. that's why sometimes when you go to some uh when you do some divination and some things you will hear your uh, the oracle or the oracle or the dbr or the person telling you do this and do this and do this and do this. Don't worry, it will be fine. Those things are working together. Let me cut it short. But for that side, for the aspect of a marine, marine is completely different. A marine don't need to travel through those space portals, everything before she gets to where you are. She's already there. You see the big difference? She's already there because she doesn't have limitation. She is limitless. She can be anywhere for as long as you are connected to water. So the only way you can really run from a marine is to kill yourself. 
and it makes it easy for them because you kill yourself now now they just take your spirit <laughs> so you cannot really run from there so when we talk about marine spirit this is so strong and so powerful although it carries a lot of baggages also why for a witch is very simple she is the craft owner she is in charge of her craft she can decide if she's the independent witch she can decide to say ah okay i do this okay no i don't do this but for a marine spirit it's a very complicated thing because there are also things that you cannot just do based on you let's say for example you have a girlfriend she's a witch she can cast spells and do things to help you succeed in life to make you rich or have whatever you want from our own crafts independently based on our knowledge and awareness but for that of a marine before she can bring that wet which is ss1 anyway but before she can bring it to you she had to seek permission She can't just do it. The only way she can just do it, you will know she's a queen of her own kingdom. When she's a queen of her own kingdom, then she can do whatever she pleases. But that's already different from just regular marine spirits. There are different, different level of marine spirits. Just like water now. You have different size of fishes. That's how the marine world is. It's different. So when you are lucky, and that's your wife or that's your uh, girlfriend, she's a queen in that marine kingdom, and you respect her principle, because that's always the problem. <laughs> You have to know how to respect her principle and lawyer and follow up with how she, what pleases her soul and keep on doing it because they know what you don't say out. You want to think it, they know already. So just be transparent. Let her use you. Uh -huh. That's the only way I can explain it. If you think you want to use your brain for a marine spirit, you are just wasting your time. They know everything. They know everything. If you love them, don't tell them. They will tell you they love you because they know already you love them. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. So, when she gives you all those words now, as a queen that she is, she expects you to never make her feel disappointed. If you disappoint a witch, she will cast a spell on you. And you can go and meet a stronger witch to break the spell or a witch doctor or babala or whatever to break the spell that if you disappoint a marine queen a goddess a divine goddess if you disappoint her you break her heart she will not cast spell on you because she, she don't believe in spells spells are for witches she will not cast spell on you she will not do you anything. She will just only turn her back on you. And your soul is cursed already. Just for she turning her back alone. And wherever you go to, first, there is a stamp in your head. Any marine spirit that see you, they know that, hey, this one is our, uh, our enemy. <laughs> and then, any native doctor you go to, they will just take your money. They cannot really do anything for you. If they try it, they will die. Because they are not permitted to touch it. That's why many people end up being slaves in the marine kingdom. Because their soul is cast and trapped. If you are that type, It's over.
for you. Because now they will give you work to do. They will give your soul work to do. You will be alive for you. We can live long, 80, 90 years, no problem. But now they will keep your soul busy. For a very long time. So when we're talking about marine kingdom and the witch, know that these are two different things. These are completely two different things. And marine kingdom, they love transparency. Honesty. If you want to talk to a girl who is carrying a marine spirit, and you know you just want to sleep with her, you don't need anything serious, tell her. Tell her you just want to have a nice time. She will do it for you if she like you. If you promise her everything, you are killing yourself. And that's how many men have destroyed their destiny. You will go and meet a marine girl. You will promise her everything. I will marry you. I will do this. I will do this. I will do this. I will do this. I will do, I will do that. At the end, you will not have one excuse. You are not educated enough. Uh, I see one girl. She is more tall. She has a bigger eyes. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot do The moment she turns her back on you, it is finished for you. If you are that type of man, going through that type of problem, the only solution for you is for you to look for another goddess like her who can find mercy, which is difficult to, but you are lucky, who can find mercy and find, and find a way to like just love you. If she cannot love you and accept you, then she cannot go to the kingdom of that second goddess and demand and plead for the release of your soul. No naughty daughter can do that journey. Any little daughter that tried, they will turn him to Pele Pele, will not come back to life. <laughs> That's why little daughters don't even waste time to do that things for you. But they will just take your money and mark some medicine on you. Mm. But they know they are not doing anything for you. <laughs> they cannot tell you what I'm just telling you now. You have to know all these things. <laughs> they cannot tell you these things. So you need another goddess that will go and do the work for you. So when she gets there, she will have to exchange a slave for your own soul. Because you are working. They are giving you work to do. You are busy there. So you cannot just leave. So she has got to bring somebody else to replace you. Like a life for a life. Before they can set you free. That's why you will not see some men. After they have suffered for so long, one woman will not just mysteriously enter their life. And instantly all their life will not change. And then, automatically that woman becomes like, they are God. The woman is the one controlling everything about mm -hmm. their life. You ignorant will be thinking, please you can't call me Nana, especially when I'm on live video. You ignorant will be thinking, ah, look at this man, a woman rapper. And yeah, as he get money rich now, this woman already control. You know, get sense. Look at him. Ah, this man is not wise enough. I wish I had the kind of money this man have. I will marry many, many wives. You will just be fantasizing. But he know what you have went through. He know the kind of woman he have now. He know that this woman is his own God. And he is a worshiper now. Yes. If she even want to sleep with another girl, she need permission from her. Because if you try nonsense, mm. especially if she's the jealous type, mm. Mm. especially if she's the jealous type, mm. if you try nonsense, mm. Hmm. Mm. so you have to know these things. 
Knowing these things is very, very important. Knowing these things helps you have a perfect understanding of what is going on around your life. You might just be dating a girl ever since you know how things are good for you. But the day you will just approach one other little girl outside, you will think, ah, oh, you'll be a smart guy now. And you are not transparent. From that day, I heard it's already angry with you. Because there's something you have to know about marine spirit. Even if the individual herself is not conscious. Oh, this is a call, but I can't really take it. Hold on. I have to do a prayer with her and uh, yeah, I need to update her. So, even if the marine girl or the marine woman, even if she don't have no knowledge of self, even if she don't know nothing about herself, it does not change anything. She's still who she is. Yeah, she might just be passing through her normal difficulties and, and things that makes like price you pay for ignorance because that's the problem of our uh, marine uh, children you pay a lot of price for being ignorant of yourself and you know the people making you to pay those price your friends your siblings under the marine world they are just laughing at you so they want you to pay the price because some of them want you not to go to the world but you think you want to go because of your curiosity <laughs> now you are here now you are just lost and brainwashed to believe man Jesus, how you want it that just not even exist here. You are just there. So they would really make the, the your life now on the earth side, they will really make it like so hard for you to the point that you will just regret why you even try it. But they love you, they just want to teach you a lesson <laughs> so that you can know yourself because that's the only way of protesting. Because when they don't do that, you will not lost your soul. So they have to do it to keep you always in check because when you they get problem, get problem. One day you must come wait, start to look for solution, right? Exactly, that's why they do it. So in that process of looking for solution, now you will not start. Your head will not guide you. Will not start meeting people to meet yourself. But what you have to be careful of is those people telling you, "Hey, eh, want to detach you, want to separate you from them." They don't love you. They don't love you. Whoever wants to separate you from your spirit don't love you because then you are just nothing you are not a robot you are just a robot so it's all about balance and dialogue so for a witch a witch is free a witch is free so a witch is free a witch can decide uh, to let go of her own crafts and just my business because she's in charge so a witch is a very simple it's a very simple thing you can carry. But being a marine is very deeper. It's very deeper. A marine spirit can come to a coven and slap you inside your coven. The witch cannot even dare to put her foot on the water. The class of going to the marine world. They're not born now. They're not born now. They're not born now. Snake will go swallow herself. She'll go leave now, Andre. Yes, was had a snake belly. So you have to understand these differences. Then for men who carry marine spirit, <laughs> mm. don't have problem with them. Because men with marine spirits. Are more powerful because normally men with marine spirit don't come to earth. So when they come it's for a mission and they come with authority, only the women are more free to just go. The men are always protect the home, but when they not decide to come, there is a reason. So don't go there. But when you are that man with a marine spirit now, you now lost yourself. Mm. You go chop your eye. Eh? When you lost yourself, 
your pains eh, it will be three times more than that marine spirit uh, woman who lost herself because you have a very important role to play so the problem we are having today in our society is they successfully demonize everything so that we can just be scared and scared and scared because for as long as you are scared you don't want to go there of course and the people who did that they did it purposely because they know that for as long as you are scared you don't want to go there then you will be in your mystery you see how they set us up that's why africa is so chaotic they know you are ancient spiritual beings who carry different different ancient energies so if you are activated and you are all connected everybody on earth will be like your slaves normally no african person is supposed to be walking no african person is supposed to be doing all these things you people are doing no African person is supposed to suffer normally. But the human family was invaded by mankind. And strong spares was casted on you. So now, look at Africa. You see poverty. When you look at the surface level, you will just be angry. Eh, politician, ah, now this tribe, ah, now that tribe, ah, these people are bad. But when you view it deeper, you see that everybody's in the same water. Both the politician, both the people who is blaming the politician, everybody's fucked up and messed up already. Why? Because of an alien program that was installed in you that is now rewriting the information of your DNA. To reprogram you to function in a way that you can never ever function. We have big problem. Oh. We have very big problem in Africa. As long as we want to try to be like the colonial master, the more Africa mm -hmm. we have problem. Because that direction the self-destructive parts and they know before you cannot make all africans know this we are talking about three to four thousand years but something has been changing now something has been changing now since six thousand years they lied to you since six thousand years they have been controlling you and now their calendar is over now. So your DNAs are start activating now. Now you start having interest now. If we continue like this, we tell we don't start war and kill ourselves. If we continue like this, ordinary 200 years, it is over. We are breaking the spell and we are free forever. They know that. So they will sneak into your mist now. Make you hate this one. Make this one hate this one. So that we will still be busy doing nothing like always. It's so deep. I'll leave it here now. It's getting dark. But just know that marine spirits is a good thing. A witch is a good thing. What matter is be the best person that you can be that's my advice for you so if you are a witch be the best you can be with that your crafts tap into that your crafts like me i love working with witches when when i check your energy i know you, you carry those crafts within you uh, for me it's very easy because all i have to just do is to teach you one or two spells and things you have to do then Everything just activating, ta, 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 ta. but when you are working with the marine <laughs> spirit, so many work, 
especially when the person still don't want to accept their sector. That's the biggest problem with some marine children. They they are scared to accept their own self. You are just mm -hmm. sitting down. You see a snake come out from nowhere and start talking to you. And now you are scared of the snake. Because they have brainwashed you. That what you don't understand is evil. What you don't understand will kill you. So now you are scared. You are lying down in your bed. You open your eye. Your whole bed becomes like water. Now you freak out. <laughs> My room was like ocean. <laughs> now you're so freaked. And and somebody tried to explain that to you. Ah, calm down. This is how it is. You're like, no, 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 no. I don't want it. I don't want. You know how many people are they call, call for their ear? I can have patience with you, but when you start telling me I don't want it, I don't want it, then I don't have interest of talking to you because now me don't have time to waste with you. Since you have not agreed, we are here for. Ah, okay, no problem. <laughs> we are here for those who have decided now to accept themselves. We are not here now for those who are still thinking, eh, should I not, should I not. It's not my duty to convince you. That's what I'm trying to say. We don't have time for that. We are here for old souls who get stuck and now they start knowing, ah, I have to. There's no other option. Let me do it. Let me connect. Uh -huh. We will have time for you. But if you are still thinking, contemplating, we don't have time for those kind of discussion. Because we know already that you have to die and come back to life again. Okay, if I know already that you have to first die before you come back to life again and start knowing things, why would I not waste time to be trying to explain the thing to you? Why? Love is not enough. I care for you and it's not enough. It's all about my precious time now because you now have to first die mm -hmm. before you will know something. So me now I don't need to waste my whole life now trying to teach you who we never ever know in this life. <laughs> so embrace who you are. That's the only option you really have. Just embrace who you are. Tap into your own true nature. Bring out the best from you. And make sure you accept that which you have. You can't be anything lesser than what you have. The universe is not lying. The universe is not stupid to make you as you are. So that God that is telling you, give your life to me. If he's really the one that creates your life, why will he not be saying, give your life to me? It doesn't make sense. I Meaning he's a soul snatcher. You have to be wise, my people. He's a soul snatcher. That's why they're saying, give your life to Christ. If Christ is you, how will you give your life to you? Does it make sense, common sense? You will go into the church, they will say, repeat after me. I, you are swearing oaths. You will serve this God forever. You will not know any other God except this God. Eh? You have to tell the pastor, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, oh, sorry. Eh, please, oh. Eh, God creates me, right? But why, why, why all this discussion? Which one is now? Eh, I have to serve this God forever. I will not serve this God forever. I have to give this soul to you. Yeah, you know the oh, creator of heaven and earth. You create everything that exists in this world. So what's this? What kind of stupid discussion is this? No, you don't think anything. Of course, I don't blame you. I was also there. I was also there. Me where you see so. <laughs> Let me tell you some story of me. There was a church my mother took me to one some time ago. Why did she took me there? For night, I go wake, wake up, I go yo carry the waka they go. At the beginning, everybody thought it was uh, sleepwalking. Until the waka come, be, they become another kind of waka. You go lock door. The way I'll take pass through, whether on a wall or they pass through, or nobody they know. How the waka waka they go. So my mother could not carry me to one pastor. Pastor John Free. I don't forget his name because he tortured me mentally. So, Pastor John Free is a spiritual guy, but he will just project himself as pastors. Now I understand his work. 
Although then I was a child, I was just like, I think, eight years old. I was just a little boy. He took me to this her church, to this his church. Poor mother, she's just freak out, she never know. And uh, he just saw my energy. And what did he do? For him, he wanted to trap me inside his church so that he can be tapping into my energy. He said, Man, they put shame for my enemy leg. Ah, small picking. He said, No, they have to tie my leg with shame. My mother said, Yeah, but if you want to tie his leg with shame, we can do that at home now. Why did I bring my suit? <laughs> Sense. <laughs> he said, no, 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 this, this one spirit, this one, no, no, be spirit, this one, on a juju, in a just juju, so, uh, even if, say, uh, you put on for us, to steal us, so, yeah, we will shame him with the chain of Christ, that's how he said it, they want to use Jesus chain to shame my enemy, so, every day, they make me give different oaths, of give your life to Christ, this one, that one, that one, and what did he do? He put my mother in uh, fasting. He tortured my mama and be small. Better torturing. Dry fasting. Five days, seven days. Oh my mama throat in length. Come here, logo, logo, logo. <laughs> oh, poor woman. That's why I love her so much now, anyway. Oh, I throat. Come here, logo, logo, logo. Oh, the name of say, oh, my picking girl problem, my picking girl problem. This man was just using fasting to torture my mother. My enemy in action puts for my enemy leg. So, <laughs> every night, mm -hmm. when everybody is sleeping, he will go and sit inside a dark place and be observing me. He want to see the energy. He was tracking my energy. He mm -hmm. want to see how mm -hmm. this thing really did work. He was just curious. I never knew because I was just a child. I never knew. Me myself was even scared. Oh, me the queen deliver me. Oh God, oh Mumu Shalom Gucha. He was just curious. He was sitting until one day he now saw something. Something just. I was just sitting there with a normal chain, of course. And the next thing I saw was, you know, like when a uh, uh, dog they find something for night inside does being like. I was, so I was not very curious to peep the whole land during war. My family, of course, my, my spirit family, they hold him to the wall and warn him. They warned him that if tonight he don't set this chain, don't cut this chain, this is the end of his life and the life of his children. He was begging. He was begging. But he was also a spiritually strong uh, prophet. But he always project himself with Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Me when I allow him, I just nominate that the way they found Jesus. <laughs> How many reasons why I don't have respect for these people? I've betrayed a lot with their with their hands, you know. Normally I'm supposed to go and sue him now for abusing me as a child, but he don't hold and he don't get life again, so nothing to even take to do with him anymore. So after they have finished dealing with him, he came to me. He lose my shirt and he told me, not tell your mama what you happen. He did not say if you tell your mama, you will carry you go another place. And those people still go put shame for your leg. I be like shame, 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 where did they put for your leg since then? I said, no, sir, I don't like how, I don't like this shirt. He said, okay, not tell your mama. You tell your mama, now you can't know. Me and Ina make agreements not to tell my mother what happened. This man I lose my shame and I start buying me something. The next day, <laughs> the next day, he was uh, singing. Everybody was thanking God. My mama buy big, big fan, new, new share, come to do Thanksgiving. Say they don't free me and he don't deliver me. He said, my man, I say, it's okay. Now, so, uh, mini, I, because I'm a child, I don't really understand, but I was just thinking, oh, okay. Maybe now, so that they deliver a person. But okay, since he said, my not tell my mama, Say people, some people who land during war, okay, maybe now so God till they walk. You know, I just concluded. And then my mother took me home. Everybody was observing. I slept, I did not walk, I did not go uh, run away. I slept, I did not run away. Little did they know that I stopped walking away with my body, but my spirit was still doing the same journey. So, what I was now experiencing is me, I couldn't see the body for bed. Me o kon waka come on my own.
So when I start getting exposed to those things, then me now, me I was also like in peace. I will waka 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 waka. I know they reach the place. I will tire. Before they break, I see what I come back. Come enter my body. I go see many things for road. Sometimes I'll see winches. Mm -hmm. I'll see different mm -hmm. different things. Some native doctors where you gonna go. Like spiritually or spirit, spirit. I did see many things. But as a young child, I was always there. I don't keep quiet. In that process, my elder sister will constant. <laughs> oh, long <nice> story. <laughs> One of our sister will constant. That one will call because the new topic. <laughs> From there, I got free. So later, me and she now know how it happened. Even she herself now say, no matter, no they tell the anything or they see, no they tell the anything. We now keep quiet. We now stop talking. So from there, everything now become like okay in the family. Everybody is now fine. No problem <laughs> for me anymore. So when I now grow now become adult, I now understand that ah okay, the problem was, I was giving them information that they were not ready for. They don't know, and they were just scared and freak out. So because they don't understand, they reacted with the level of knowledge they have. But when we stop talking, when we stop sharing with them, automatically everything was just fine. That was how I start knowing religion are all fake. Then I start nearing my father more. Because my father has always worshipped his Ogun. I start nearing my father more. In the whole house of my father, anytime I do Ogun, now let me, they follow and kill the fowl. Now let me they cook the food. Now let me they eat the, the Ogun food. The rest children like, oh, we know they do juju, we know do juju. So I now become like the favorite uh, <laughs> child of my father. So that Ogun now become like part of me. There was a day even me and my stepbrother was joking. And he said to me, hey, Baba died, I'll do so good, go be your property. <laughs> So now we have grown, now now we have all grown. Now I've become Oguname. Me, that little child who everybody thought is crazy. Although I'm still crazy. <laughs> I'm still crazy anyway. So this is just what I want to share with you. I share this with you to let you know you cannot be anything but mm. yourself. You cannot be anything but yourself. Accept yourself and then tap into that which you have and let it expose you more. Things I did not understand when I was a child. Now I understand it perfectly. Many, many beings normally are supposed to do things with because I don't know anything. I don't know. But now everything makes sense. Now everything makes sense. Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. Now I even know why it was necessary for me to be born. Now I even know why my mother have to even give birth to me. Now I even know why I choose our own womb. Now I even know why I have to choose my father. The role, ah, everything now makes, oh, everything will just make sense to you. But if you keep on following all this, eh, don't go there. It's demonic, it's dangerous. This one is bad, that one is bad. If you follow all those Christian demonization programming they are doing to us, to just make you be confused in life. This is really what I want to share with you. Accept yourself and bring out the best from yourself. Whether you are a witch, whether you are a marine spirit, anyone you have, there are different, different spirits, not just only witch and marine. Anyone you now have, accept them and then see a way now to now bring out the best from it. Why? It is more easier and simpler to just accept you than to fight you. Because you don't know anything and you want to fight what you don't know. So it don't make no sense. So when you accept yourself, then life will now expose you to the mystery ourself. That when you deny yourself, life will excuse you a lot. And people will always profit from you. Bye-bye for now. I send you peace and I send you love. Bye-bye.
I love you. I just wish my mother not hear this <laughs> good teaching. They say, hey, so you just pass a life to me. I've never even told her up until today. <laughs> we just stopped talking. <laughs> bye bye for now. <laughs>